you and uh, T.I. just recently celebrated your anniversary. Yeah. Yep. It was four years, four years this year, July the 31st. How did you two originally meet? How did we meet? Well, of course, you know, I met him around town in the studios, and he was, he's a bit younger than me. He's five years younger than me. So at the time, you know, I was pretty young too, so... He was kind of like a kid to me. And I'm like, oh, you know, he's cute or whatever. And then as the years went on, I uh, KP, which is the guy who's pretty much in, you know, he's involved in a lot of different people's uh, career. He played the songs for me, and he was playing some. I had a meeting with him. He played some songs for me, and he was like, yo, this is a new, new, new kid I have, T.I. And I, I heard it. I was like, damn, this, I love his sound. He had this... Um, Southern Twain that was just too sexy to me. And and uh, I re- then I saw him a little bit later, maybe some months later, in the mall, and he looked amazing. I can tell you what he had on that day still. He had on a seersucker uh, striped polo suit, uh, pants and jacket, and he had some Cartier frames on, clear Cartier frames on. And I thought he looked gorgeous he was like so that was kind of like he we exchanged numbers and we end up meeting that same day we went to a three dollar cafe we talked and we kind of got to know each other a little bit over some wings and from there we kind of like just played phone tag for a minute and finally hooked up now were you there before he got his first record deal he was already signed when i got with them he was um he had already had a first album out, which um, wasn't like his strongest album. And I got with him right before he dropped Money, Holes, Cars, and Clothes. He would come and play me his music, and he played uh, You Don't Know Me for me. And he was like, yo, I want to put this song out on my, re- on my uh, mixtape or whatever. And I'm like, this right here is a single. What do you mean, mixtape? And he was like, you think so? And I'm like, this is your single. You need to be putting this out. So anyway, he put that out, and that was like one of the starts of his big career when people were like, hell, who is this cat? Tell me, you don't know me. That was it. 